welcome back to Nick's Car History. Today I'm going to be telling you why this Honda 919 behind me needs to be your next budget dream bike. I got this bike for a steal about two years ago with 19,000 miles, never been dropped before, really great condition for $2,500. Since then I've been using this bike just about every day for a little two mile commute and a few longer trips as well, so I've put about 6,000 miles on the bike. So this isn't just gonna be some BS where I talk about some random motorcycle that I've never ridden before. I've ridden this bike a lot, and you can see this video as sort of a two-year review. In these last two years, this bike has been fantastic to me. I mean, it's a Honda, and it's a four-cylinder, and it's a, it's a big engine. All I've had to do is like oil changes, some chain lubrication, and I did have to change the tire once. That was probably the biggest job I've had to do but it hasn't broken down on me, knock on wood. Honda made this sport touring motorcycle from 2002 to 2007. It's a fuel injected 919 cubic centimeter four cylinder engine that makes about 100 horsepower, gets about 40 miles to the gallon and does zero to 60 in about three seconds, depending on, you know, how heavy you are. It has a five gallon fuel tank and weighs about 400 pounds, which is really light for the sport touring class of motorcycles. Compare that weight to like a BMW sport touring bike or something like that. But numbers really don't mean anything with motorcycles. What is this bike actually like to drive? I'm six foot four and about 200 pounds. So this bike is very comfortable to me. I've sat on some CBR 300 before and it was way too light. It felt like a bicycle when I was riding it. I felt like if I moved just a little bit, the whole bike would lean. So I've never really been into the sort of pocket rocket style of bikes um, to each their own. But if you aren't all the way into the pocket rocket style, then this might, this bike might be for you. I've also had bigger sport touring bikes. Like I had a BMW 1200RT, I believe they're called. And that was too big and heavy for me. That was just annoying. I've also had cruisers uh, like the Honda 750. Uh, I forgot the exact name of the cruiser, but I have a video on it on this channel if you want to see that review. That's a very affordable bike and cruisers are fun, but not that fun in the long term. This bike is fun every day that I ride it. And again, since this is a Honda, I feel really comfortable every day revving it all the way out to the 9,500 RPM redline where it absolutely screams. Hopefully I can get some good footage of that. The stock form of this bike, I think is really sexy. You know, it's got no fairings here. It's got no front fairings. Uh, it's got the dual exit exhaust. Unfortunately, it isn't a true dual exhaust. It goes from a four to two to one and then back out to two. It's also a six speed, so it cruises pretty comfortably on the highway. I think at about 70 or 80 miles an hour, you're cruising around 4,000, 4,500 RPM, somewhere around there. If you are gonna use this bike on the highway frequently, I would highly recommend getting a little front windshield. I think the mirrors up here are a little outdated, and I think if I'm gonna change anything, it's gonna be that. I did also switch to an LED headlight, just for a little bit more visibility at night. I have these LED blinkers on the front and the back. Those are pretty standard. You just need to make sure you get the little flasher relay. It's also a liquid cooled engine and I've never had to do anything with the coolant system. It seems to run fine, keeps the bike really cool. I live in Southern California and it gets up to about 115 Fahrenheit in the summer. And this bike has no troubles in the crazy heat. It's also got dual disc brakes in the front these little Nissan uh, brake calipers are really pretty. The gold against the red is really nice. And it's also got a single disc in the back. The previous owner of this particular bike upgraded to braided steel brake lines. So the braking is, you know, really potent on this bike. It's not a very heavy bike again. So, you know, having the dual disc brakes in the front and the disc brake in the rear gives it really good stopping power. I've done a little bit of canyon cruising with my bike, but I've never been the type to be like tucking all the way around corners or dragging a knee or anything like that, but it is really fun in the twisties. There's been multiple times where I've ridden the bike for three or four hours in a single day and it's given me no issues at all. I've also ridden with passengers before and again, no issues at all. You know, it's, it's a sport touring bike still, so it can definitely carry the weight. Overall, I think this bike really gives you everything you could possibly want out of a motorcycle, and it does everything at least in a mediocre way. <laughs> you know, it isn't insanely cheap. 
It isn't insanely fast or insanely comfortable, but it's pretty good at just about everything. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel to help me grow, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.